Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week five of my um, Wednesday message of the unbelievable rise again year of 2024. Uh, if you've been watching my social media, I was at the most unbelievable ISB boot camp. Went back to Kuala Lumpur for one day. Got back on a flight. Flew all the way to Kota Kinabalu. All right, Sabah, which is a state in Malaysia, which is very important to us as QNet, as the QI group, especially in the hotel I'm staying in, Nexus Karam Brunei, which is um, a hotel has been here for a long time one of the most recognizable landmark hotels of uh, the state of Sabah by the beach, beautiful beach. Tomorrow I'll do a Insta live from the beach. But this hotel hosted two of the most life-changing events, um, which is the pre-ISB concept of training called FACTS, for those who remember, who remember. And then JAPA's training on uh, awareness, wellness and uh, growth called ATMA. This hotel is very close to our heart and it brought back so many memories of sitting with the V partners today with the coin service, waiting for all the unbelievable V ambassadors of Dato Sri Vijay Ishwin to come here for a four day ice unstoppable training with the founders. Uh, so stay glued to my Instagram. I will try to do live and record with Dato Sri as much as possible. So you get a glimpse of the wisdom of the great one, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran, guys. All right, and on this Wednesday message, I was just addressing the core, the V partners, and I think what I realized and I was sharing with them, and it just came, you know how I am. I don't prepare before I speak. Uh, I wanted to share this with you. For the longest time, every time Dato Sri Vijay used to tell me, from the early days, I'm talking 25 years ago, Patman, you are in a comfort zone. Batman, get out of your comfort zone. Batman, you're going to die in your comfort zone. And as usual, it was too heavy, that statement. I didn't understand it. But I would sit with him, all right? Uh, basic building block number seven, counsel with job plan. I would sit with him and seek from him to get clarity on this concept of being stuck in a comfort zone. So let me talk to all of you. If you are watching me right now, whoever you are, max out king, max out queen, Blue diamond, diamond, platinum, sapphire, gold, silver. It doesn't matter. Just started yesterday. Been doing the business for six months or 10 years. There is a 99.9999% chance that you are in a comfort zone. The comfort zone is the most dangerous state of mind. It is the ultimate killer of growth, of your checks, of building an organization. The comfort zone is like cancer. You don't know it's there and it grows and grows and grows and grows. And one point, it's too late. It is a state of mind. And listen carefully. This might be too heavy. I'm trying to simplify it. Chief style, Patman Senati Raja style. It's a state of mind where you have lied and, um, you know, rationalized stupidly to yourself that you are doing okay, that where you are is a good place and you should stay here and no longer work, push yourself, be uncomfortable to move forward. A comfort zone is a state of stagnation in any sense of the word, whether you are broke or rich, all right, struggling to achieve your first check or already maxing out. The, stuff, the comfort zone is a dangerous concept because it applies to everyone. Everyone thinks only those who are broke and morons are in the comfort zone. No, I'm sorry. I have seen everyone in the comfort zone from we elite leaders to we partners, including myself. 
All right, and thank God for Dato Sri Vijay for pointing out that I was stagnant, not growing, not moving. All right, and um, I call it the silent killer because you feel good, you think you are doing everything perfectly, you think you are doing enough presentation, everything. That means you are actually doing stuff. The comfort zone doesn't necessarily mean you are lazy, moron, holding hands and singing kumbaya at home. The comfort zone simply means that you started to believe your own lies, that you started to rationalize your lack of success, your lack of progress, your lack of growth of your commission, your BV, your organization. And you almost tell yourself, this is okay. Let's stay here. It's comfortable. It's a comfort zone. And all of you are in a comfort zone. And the purpose why Dato Sri is doing the unstoppable ice the reason why we kicked off with the Rise Again event with uh, ISB or why I do the Wednesday message or the Insta Live on Sundays is ultimately to get you out of your comfort zone. Because once you're stuck there, like Dato Sri Vijay, in, in Asia, we have this big buffalo called a Karbao, all right, all right, or Karibao, a big Karbao basically. It's the big, huge buffalo that loves to sit in the mud and it will not move for hours or sometimes days because it's so nice, it's so soft, it's so warm, it's so comfortable and that buffalo can stay there without moving. But the buffalo thinks life is good, life is beautiful. That's the same problem we have. We are sitting in a mud and we have convinced ourselves that we are doing enough, we are doing the right thing, life is good, this is enough money. This house is big enough. This car is enough. Who needs another car? Who needs more money? Who needs all these things Chief talks about called financial freedom, conquering the world, whatever. Let me stay here. The problem is when you stay there in stagnation, you die slowly but surely. Comfort zone is the ultimate silent killer. All right? And the only way to get out of your comfort zone is to find the truth, to find somebody who's going to tell you the truth, to find somebody who's not going to buy your bull sugar, to find somebody who's going to point out that you are stuck in the mud, you're not moving anywhere, all right? And slowly but surely, you're going to die there with no progress, no growth, no financial freedom. You need to find that person. You need to find a Dato Sri Vijay, the source of truth, painful unreasonable truth. So ask yourself, do you have anyone in your circle of influence? Do you have any upline, any mentor, anyone who is consistently pointing out the truth to you of where you are, what you're not doing enough, how broke you are, how lazy you are, how unproductive you are. I know all these are painful words, but you need to hear it. You need to hear it. It doesn't mean I love you any less. I love you guys. I love all of you guys. But whatever you are doing right now, be very careful because even though it may feel right, even, may, even though it may feel good, even though it may feel like progress, it could be the silent killer, all right? The comfort zone. And before you realize you are in this comfort zone, it's too late for you to climb out. You are stuck. That mud turns into cement and you are trapped in this vicious cycle of non-productivity, no growth, no evolution, you know, uh, no change. And I have survived for 25 years and been successful sitting here as your upline representing Japa and Dato Sri Vijay simply because I have this man, my mentor, my upline, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan, who the minute, the second he senses that I am starting to enjoy the mud like the buffalo and sitting in my comfort zone, even though I'm working in my mind, he would tell me the harsh truth. He will tell me that I'm a loser compared to this, compared to that. I'm wasting my potential. I need to wake up, smell the coffee, all right? I haven't done enough this week, this month. He would push me, drag me out, drag me with him, keep him, keep me close in his zone so I never go back to that comfort zone. Everything is a comfort zone. A 250 check a week can be a comfort zone. A $2,000 check a week can be a comfort zone. A $10,000 weekly commission can be a comfort zone. Max out can be a comfort zone. 
You just have to be aware. You have to be sensitive enough to know when you are stuck in the comfort zone. All right? And the signs are very simple. Less and less people listen to you. You are less effective in inspiring others. All right? You just don't feel good anymore. You don't feel like you're ready to conquer the world. All right? You slowly but surely start to move slower. Less productivity. Less activity. Your downlines sort of stay away from you. Uh, you stop having this desire to connect with your uplines or mentors. You start to avoid your uplines, avoid your mentors. You try to avoid any difficult situation because where you are is your comfort zone. And that is where you will die broke. If you don't push yourself, put your hand out and make sure your upline grabs it and pull you out of your comfort zone. So this whole year, guys... All right. I think our duty as your uplines, okay, is not only to push you to max out financial freedom, all of that, but to also keep you out of your comfort zone because it's a silent killer. I've seen great networkers vanish, become irrelevant simply because they didn't realize that they were falling deeper into a comfort zone. All right. So if you're not doing more, if you're not challenging yourself, if if you're not uncomfortable, if you're not hungry, right? If you are sleeping too well at night, all of these are signs of a comfort zone. And you just need to search and look, right? Willingly, daringly, regardless how painful it is, regardless how uncomfortable it is. And you just got to find a mentor, find an upline, find a guide who's going to tell you the truth, the painful truth, consistently, all right? And to push you with a high level of unreasonableness and make you uncomfortable, all right, and wake you up, do you understand, so that you can rise again and you can keep moving forward and forward and forward. So to my V family all over the world, right, be careful. Do a checkup from the neck up to identify whether you're already in the comfort zone. Is your language like a comfort zone language? That I'm okay where I am. Who needs more? All right, I'm already doing my best. Okay, I feel good about myself. This is the right place, right time. I'm feeling the right, you know, blah, 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 blah. Everything sounds positive, but ultimately you are in a comfort zone. And trust me, I'm warning you. The minute you sense it, the minute somebody points it out to you, get out, get out, get out as soon as you can from a comfort zone because the longer you stay there, Everything, guys. Rule three can be a comfort zone if you're doing it for the sake of doing it. Okay. TAT can be a comfort zone if you are doing it without the guilt, without the pressure to improve the results. Everything can be a comfort zone. Speaking on stage can be a comfort zone. Not speaking on stage can be a comfort zone. Only doing training, but not doing presentation can be a comfort zone. Thinking you're always right can be a comfort zone. Being idealistic can be a comfort zone. All right. Being a moron can be a comfort zone. Are you guys with me? But the ultimate solution is simple. Get out of your comfort zone. And if you can't, if you are so blind that you can't see you in a comfort zone, ask somebody. Ask somebody you respect. Ask somebody you look up to, like how I look up to Dato Sri Vijay, and ask them, do you think I'm in a comfort zone? And if I am, please get me out of it. And then surrender. Shut up. Listen and do and be a student again. Empty your cup. Listen to whatever advice that person is giving you and get out of your comfort zone. Only then can you rise again. Because I spoke the whole year about rise again. Dato Sri is talking about being unstoppable this year. All right. All our messaging is about progress, evolution, moving forward, rising, BBs going up, commission going up, your leadership qualities going up, your attitude becoming better, your warriorship going up, everything going up, 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 up. But I realize that a lot of you are struggling to rise again. A lot of you are struggling to move forward simply because you're stuck. But you don't realize you're stuck. So this is your chief, your upline saying, I love you, but get out of your comfort zone. It is the ultimate silent killer of dreams, of warriors, of entrepreneurs. I've seen it for 25 years. And today I'm sitting here in Kota Kinabalu waiting to welcome Dato Sri Vijay tomorrow. Even more grateful because this, in this Nexus Karam Brunei, at the two events that I attended with Dato Sri Vijay with Chapa, is where they pulled me out of my comfort zone. 
and I'm grateful. I'm not the best of the best of the best, nothing like that. I've just managed for the last 25 years to at least recognize when I'm in a comfort zone and seek for help and keep getting out of the comfort zone. And now I'm staying away from any form, shape of the comfort zone. It's a silent killer. Get out now and, and fly and rise again. I love you guys.